I had no idea. Indiana is known as the crossroads of America. But for now, these drivers coming from Chicago's southeast side. What's going on? We'll have to cross somewhere else. And everybody else I, I still see, they're all making U-turns. Nobody really knows. This is, this is a road that's constantly being used. They're not the only ones confused. A man called into Mayor Tom McDermott's radio show today and asked whether he'd notified Chicago's 10th Ward Alderman. No, I didn't. <laughs> you did well, she's real nice. She is real nice. A staff member in the 10th Ward office says they were surprised by the move and they're working on getting detour signs put up. McDermott says the road is mainly used by Illinois residents going into Hammond. But I use it frequently because I work off Avenue O, and if you close it, so be it. James Enriquez works in Whiting, Indiana, and he says he uses the road every day. You know, I don't think that it's a great idea. I think they just need to fix it. The city of Chicago patched their side of the road Thursday morning after a CBS2 report exposing car damage from the potholes. Mayor Tom McDermott said in a statement today the Hammond side will be closed until further actions are taken to evaluate the cost to return it to a safe condition. We didn't see anyone working on the road today. <laughs> Gosselin Street is the next closest road crossing the state line, more than a mile from 134th. Mayor McDermott says he'll consider concerns from Hammond business owners as the city decides whether to close this road for good. We do use that road, our customers do, mm -hmm. and I think they should repair it. Earlier this week, McDermott said perhaps businesses should be responsible for this road. He now says that was a tongue-in-cheek comment. He said on his radio show today that if he doesn't get much blowback, this road may never open again. At the border of Hammond and Chicago, Tim McNicholas, CBS2 News.